Hi, I'm here in Edmonton, Canada, and I'm visiting and being hosted by my friends Mike Chomich and Misty Shearer, who own a fabulous training facility called The Foundry. Now, you'll notice that when I arrived, it was actually quite cold, and the whole week that I've been here, the temperature has been around minus 20 to minus 22, I think, at the coldest. So, naturally, snow is a big feature visually. And so, here I've got my friend Mike shoveling the pathway so that we can let the students come in safely. So this, this is why functional strength is important. And while I was there, the wind built up as well. Um, and at one point it was blowing quite hard, and I don't know what the chill factor was, but all I can tell you was any Australian carrying the kind of clothes that I was carrying was likely to be very cold. Luckily, Mike lent me a coat. Well, let's go inside the foundry now. The entranceway has that lovely drawing of the evolution of man, and inside is the most fabulous array of equipment, including as many chin-up bars as we have. Lots of things hung from the ceiling ladder bars built by the students and they also teach a lot of kettlebell and Duravoy sport work here too and all the toys are in the hurt locker. I'm here with my friend Mike from the foundry and we're going to show you what we have found to be the most effective way of improving ankle flexibility which of course will be a soleus stretch as well um, and, and give you that flexibility that is absolutely fundamental and essential for doing the full squat. So this is what we do. It looks like the normal wall calf stretch, which is a gastrocnemius stretch, but this, is, but this is how we change it. I'm going to just change my hands over here. I'm going to hold his ankle down on the floor, the heel in particular, by loading up this arm here. And then I'm going to press the back of his knee forward just slightly like this. And then I'm going to ask him to bring his hips back over his heel like this. This is the secret to this stretch. Now in this position here, Mike, can you press the ball of your foot, please, down into the floor? Five, four, three, two, one. Stop, relax, take a breath in, and very gently help me move this knee a bit further forward and tell me when is enough. About there. And I could also change my hands over, might even be less awkward. Tell me when that's enough. Perfect. And what we do is we hold him here ideally for at least half a minute or so, but you get the idea. And can you see the fantastic angle that his lower leg is now making with the foot? And that will definitely be enough flexibility in the ankle uh, to do a full squat. Just come out of that mic and we'll do the other side as well. Also, when Mike's in this position, he is not in the full gastroc position. The full gastroc position for him would be much further back like this. So it's a kind of a halfway and you'll notice that the inside edge of his foot is, is perpendicular to the wall, that's absolutely critical. And also he's got weight on the outside of his feet and his arch is perfectly formed. So I hold the heel down. I bend the knee very slightly to start with, but the key thing is he brings the hips back. And what that does is it allows him to load up his own heel. So I have to do very little work indeed. And I, when you're ready, Mike, tell me when it's far enough forward. About there? Two. Okay. Now when you're ready, just breathe and relax and get used to that sensation. And normally once you're in a stretch position, we recommend staying there for 20 or 30 seconds until the muscles that you're holding onto, in my case this gastroc here and soleus underneath, until they relax completely, which is about now. When you're ready, Mike, press the ball of your foot into the floor. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop, relax, breathe in load up your own heel, take, take and breathe out, take another breath in and very gently let me move the knee a bit further forward and tell me when. About there? Okay, and folks when someone has told you that's far enough, don't ever try to take them further than that. They have to be in control of the stretch themselves. Breathe and relax. Excellent, now slowly come out of that. And why don't you just turn around and face the camera and show us what your full squat position looks like. Just look at this, this is perfection. Absolutely beautiful. And turn side on just so people can see how much flexibility is needed in the ankle to do the full squat. That's what you need, folks. And this is one of the ways of getting it. Great work.